In today's tutorial, we're learning how to add text to a road in perspective in Canva in just a few minutes. And you can really customize the text to be whatever you want. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first we want to add the image to the slide. So we go to the elements tab and here we want to type in a road. Go to photos. And this will give you a whole selection of pictures with a road. If you want a specific road, you can narrow down the search, but I think we'll find a good one here. In our case, we're looking for a landscape picture where we have a lot of space to write down something on the road. So I think this one here will look quite nice. So I'm going to add it to the screen and drag it on the screen. If you want to reposition, you can double click and then make some more room available to work with. Next, we want to add our text to the slide. But we're not just going to add a text box. We're going to look for an app. In the app section, you can type in type and this will give you a whole list of options. We're looking for this type craft. So click that one and it will install on the left. Now here at the top, we can type in our word. So we're going to add your text here. Let's type in the first word, your. I'm going to do it all caps. And for the font, I'm going to go for action 123. Click on the back arrow. And now we're going to change the color to white because we want a white text on the image. And then scroll down and here you will find a preview of what the text looks like. Now we want to resemble the road. So we want to put some perspective on the image which means we're going to drag the top corners of the word inwards and also that middle part. And this way you see it already looks more in line with the perspective of the road. I think we can do it quite a bit more. So we're going to extend the edges at the bottom and then make sure everything is still on the same line. And once you think it almost fits the road, you can add element to design. Click that and it will add it to your slide. Now here we can see if we scale it up or down. Let's put that one right around here. It already matches quite nicely. It's not perfect, so we can do some final tweaking. I'm going to position the bottom parts so they are correct. So the bottom left and bottom right, they're correct right now. But the top parts, I think we go a little bit too much inward. So select the element. And now I'm going to... This one is the handle, so we want to keep that on the same line. I'm going to drag the outer corner a little bit to the side and I'm doing the same on the left side so move the outer corner and then press update element and this already expands the text a bit I think the Y can be expanded just a bit more and this looks quite good again if we scale it down and put it further the perspective will say the same now we're going to Control C Control V to create a copy place it below and then scale it so that it fits below the text now we can just keep the perspective and modify the text. So here we want to type in text, also all caps, and then click update element. And this will do quite a good job. Maybe you need some fine tuning, but I think this looks quite good already. You can easily modify the T, for example, update element, and that looks good. Copy it once more and increase it for the bottom part. And now we're going to change the text to here, all caps, update element to see what it looks like. The right side already looks perfect. And on the left side, I think we go a bit too close to the edge here. So we're going to shift that inwards. And then the H, that one can be moved a little bit to the left and updated like that. One bit extra. And I think this is a pretty realistic view. Now you can select all three and scale them up if you want and reposition on the road. So depending on where you want to place it, you can scale it up or down and then position it wherever you want to. You can select all the three elements and the outside image or the background image and then scale it up just a little bit extra if you want to have everything start from the corners. I think that gives some depth to the slide. Now this already looks quite good, but if you want to make it more realistic, we can do that little extra touch. And for that, we're going to the elements tab. And here we want to type in vintage effect. Go to graphics and then you want to select one of these dust particles or particles on the screen. We're going to give them a dark gray color so it resembles the road. So make it dark and we're going to close this tab and then we want to scale it down just a bit and we want to overlay it on the text elements. I'm going to do it letter by letter so they nicely match up with each other and this already gives that grain effect on the image. Select the tree here move them upwards you can scale them down that way it also looks more realistic 
with the green particles scaling with the image or scaling down with the image. Make sure that we cover them all. There we go. And now let's put that on full screen. And this is how you can add text to a road image in Canva in just a few minutes. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.